I want to associate myself with the comments by the majority leader, but with some amendment. The speaker, a lot will be said by senators here. But you see, the speaker, what this governor has done is that he has disobeyed invitations and summons by various committees, requiring that each committee then contacts the Inspector General of Police uh, to to produce the governor before them, the speaker, that, that may be a bit of a tall order. My, 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 my thing is the speaker would be, if it were possible, there are two options. One, either a motion is brought before this house, so the house passes a resolution requiring the Inspector General of Police to arrest and produce the governor. Or alternatively, Mr. Speaker, the chairman of the liaison committee, where all the chairmen of committees sit, takes up the matter with the Inspector General of Police to require on behalf of the Senate, Mr. Speaker. Because what is happening, Mr. Speaker? What is happening is that the governor of Isiolo has shown contempt of the first degree, not against the committees, but against the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. Secondly, as you have heard from Senator uh, Otsosi, you know, once that example is set, then it becomes very popular with other governors. And at the end of the day, what will happen is that then governors will be asked to appear before Senate they will decide whether to come or not to come. Mr. Speaker, let this Senate, in this case, ensure that the governor of Isiolo is physically arrested and locked up in the cells in the Senate police station and produced before a plenary sitting of the Senate, Mr. Speaker, so that he may serve as an example to other governors who are also wayward, who have no respect, who don't uh, honor summons and invitations by committees of the Senate. Well, Mr. Speaker, Article 125 of the Constitution is very clear, 125.2a, that a House of Parliament or any of its committees can enforce the... Senator Mgatana.